Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to filter a list in C-Sharp. So I've already gone and prepared a list for us and the list consists of numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 5, right? So what we first want to do is we want to say we want to filter a list such that we have only numbers that are greater than 2. Right, we want only numbers that are greater than two. Right, that means we only want three, four, and five in our list because they're greater than two. So how do we go about doing that? So we're gonna take our original list numbers, right? And we're gonna reassign it to numbers dot where. Right, so where anticipates a function or a statement, right? So that statement we can write like this. We can say for each number in the list, right? For each number, in our list we want to check whether that number is greater than 2 right so what is happening here where we'll go through each and every number inside this list it's gonna start from 1 it, and then we will go to 2 it will go to 3 it will go to 4 and eventually 5 right and throughout all these iterations it's going to check whether that number is greater than 2 or not if the number is greater than 2 then it's gonna keep it it's gonna keep it into it's gonna keep it inside the new list otherwise it will discard it so in such a case for example if it comes here at 1 and checks that 1 is greater than 2 and if it finds that that is not the case it will discard 1 right and it will go through each and every number doing the very same thing up until the list is exhausted so Obviously now we see that there's an error here and this error just means that here we are expecting a list, right? But where returns an enumerable. So therefore we need to convert this to list. And that's it, we are done. We've event we have effect we have effectively filtered our list. So now let's see what we have in our new list. So we're gonna say int number in numbers. So for each number in numbers, we're gonna print that to the console. Right, this is just to check whether we have filtered our list correctly. Okay, so let's run the code and see. So as you can see, we now have only three, four, and five in our new list, right? So we've effectively filtered our list. Now, let us take it up a notch. Let's say we wanted to filter our list such that we have only numbers divisible by two, right? We wanna check for only numbers that are divisible by two. So how do we do that? We're going to say number modulus 2 equals 0, right? Because this just checks for remainder, right? We say number divided by 2. If the remainder is 0, then that number is divisible by 2. So now we should expect only 2 and 4 in our new list because they are the only numbers that are divisible by 2. So now let's run. As you can see, we get 2 and 4.